I thought I would just take this one on the road. I've been uh, going through a lot of revelations. And for those of you that don't know, uh, my birthday just passed. So I just turned 53 last week. And uh, so now I'm going through those annual sets of things that went well, things that didn't go well, things that I'd like to change, things that I'd like to do more of, which I guess are changes. This past year was the first year that I went birthday to birthday and didn't have the obligations of having to go to work. I uh, went on a couple of vacations, went on some RV trips, I went on some fishing trips with some buddies of mine, did a bunch of stuff that was fun. But, you know, when I look back over the course of the year, are there things that I'd want to do different? Absolutely. Um, I think the one of the first things I think about is how quickly I got tied into doing different stuff. I like many of you see being retired as a time where you're just not going to do anything and you're just going to sit at home and watch TV. But you could probably tell from some of my videos, or maybe not, you know, I've lost a couple of pounds. Uh, I've been a little bit healthier, started eating better, cut back on the indulgence of alcoholic beverages, go on regular walks. Um, so some of those things have changed, but I've also put in a lot of work. Uh, creating this YouTube channel creates a lot of work. Uh, I've been doing two videos a week, and that's on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I'm thinking about changing that up because I don't know if you guys know this, but when I'm out doing these videos, today's great because I'm out walking in the uh, outdoors, checking out the sights, checking out the sun, getting my vitamin D, but most of the time I'm sitting inside of my office or in my lab, if you will, because I don't work and I'm doing editing or I'm doing recording or I'm working on the lights or I'm working on positioning or I'm looking at where the microphone needs to be. And these are all things that um, take time. And so it's, it's funny, my wife and I kind of have a running joke um, because she's gone back and done a little bit of consulting and I've refused to do it. And part of the thing that she laughs about is she says, you know, Sabado, you're too busy to work. You're too busy to do consulting because between the Master Gardener program that goes on Wednesdays from 9 to 2.30, the homework around that, and then, you know, five to six hours of editing video, it takes a lot of time, plus social obligations. You know, I can't totally walk away from playing golf. I don't want to walk away from uh, building some of these friendships that I've built over time uh, because it's, you know, those are enriching me at a point in my life that's different than it was when I was working. Now I don't have the need to be as important. Now I just want to be able to survive. And so the question that I have to ask myself often is, am I surviving in the way that I want to survive or am I surviving in a different way? And, you know, as I was getting ready to come out with my walk with my 80 year old buddy today, you know, I started thinking to myself, am I doing the stuff that I really want to do? Am I as footloose and fancy free as I thought I wanted to be? But on that's, that's on the heels of a weekend where my wife and I went to the casino a couple times during the week, won about uh, $2,400 during the week, um, just had a bunch of fun, and she called it the, uh, the birthday bonanza. And so, you know, I don't know who has a birthday bonanza at the age of 53, but, you know, it makes my wife happy to see that I'm happy. And if my wife's happy because I'm happy, then guess what? It's all good in the neighborhood. And you can see my neighborhood right here, right here behind me. So, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. You know, I'm not sitting back frustrated or concerned or worried about too much. Um, you know, I am concerned about what the economy is going to do in this coming year. But the fact is, I really can't control that. The only thing I control is what I do. And, uh, you know, I'll show you a little bit of what I'm looking at if you see me looking away, so I apologize. But this is the trail right outside of my house. So if you look here... That's what's behind me. So if you were me, you'd be looking back too. So, but yeah, so I mean, I think ultimately 
when I look back at this last year, it was just a great time. I think, you know, a lot of us, we get into the idea of saying, here's what we don't want, here's what we don't want, here's what we don't want. But very rarely, how much do we focus on what it is that we do want? How much do we focus on what it is that we think we need in life? How often do we actually think about ourselves? For those of you that have kids or spouses or aging parents or all of the above, know that a majority of your time really goes into taking care of everybody else as opposed to taking care of yourself. So, you know, this gives you an opportunity to think about what is it that I want? And look, folks, not everybody's going to want to retire. And I, I recognize that. And I was going through my stats a little bit over the last couple of weeks and realizing that, you know, I have a certain group of people that watch uh, videos regularly and they comment. And I realize there's about 100,000 that don't. And that's cool because if they, you know, it doesn't matter whether or not you subscribe, it, 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 it's whether or not you get the information. But then I started to think about, am I doing that wrong? Am I creating too much work around that? Am I um, two videos a week? Is that enough? Am I doing good enough content? Am I doing too much content? So, you know, because my time is mine, I'm going to do something that I didn't think I was going to do. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to start uh, filming maybe once a week really putting some thought into that video, which I was putting thought into it all the time, and go with one video a week and then maybe just parse out some shorts over the course of the week. So, you know, you still get a piece of the big guy, but it's, uh, it's different than the way it was before. So you're not getting inundated with my face. And so I've already started that process. And those of you that know anything about me know that uh, when I say I'm going to do something, I usually just do it, but because, you know, YouTube family isn't in front of me, I figure I'll tell you now, but what I'm doing is I'm going to, I have a bunch of shorts that I'm just going to dump off. So you, if you look at my channel, you're going to see hundreds of shorts sitting out there. You can see hundreds of shorts sitting out there, and those shorts are going to be just shorts that I had from other videos, but I'm going to get those out, and I'm going to start fresh, and I'm going to try a different cadence. Uh, because I don't think I could keep up at this rate and continue to give you the thoughtful con commentary. You know, different people focus, different creators focus on different things. Um, some focus on the lighting, some focus on the sound, some focus on the studio quality of their videos. And what I do is I really focus on giving you unfettered content. I try to give you content that you're going to be able to use. I try to give you content that's gonna make sense to you. And I am really trying to help gain some perspective because I think it's not a matter of whether or not people retire a lot or they don't. It's about the fact that most of us, and tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but most of us aren't living the lives that we wanna live because we have all these obligations to other people. And so what we don't have is we don't have the ability to really think through and chart out what it is that we actually want. We're all trying to figure out. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to die. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to go broke. I don't want to lose my job. But in that, the question becomes, what is it that you actually do, do you want? You know, do you want your kids to be happy? Do you want to retire at some point? Do you want to have a job that's fulfilling? What are the things that you do want? Because once you start to determine those things, everything else changes. And so I think you should give yourself the opportunity and the bandwidth, and even if you don't have it naturally, take it, grab it, because everything around you is designed scientifically. I haven't done the research, so I'm not going to lie and say I have. Well, that's an F-15 up there. Um, I haven't done the research, but everything that you do is designed to take away from your, uh, from your capacity. You know, time, again, as I always say, time is the most valuable resource. And when you look at the time that we have, you know, what's the one constant besides change? And I know somebody's going to chime in on the, con the comments and say, well, the only constant is change. Yeah, no, that's not what we're going for here. Uh, but the only constant is that there's people that are trying to take and, and own and... Uh, 
I don't know what the word is, uh, monopolize your capacity because everything else you can get back. Time, you can't get back. Money, you can get back. Everything else, you can get back. But time, nah, not so much. Or as uh, Dr. Dre and Ed Lover would say, nah, son. So you're, uh, so they want, they want to get your time because they know that there's going to be a time where there is no time, where there are no people, and they want to get everything done now. So think about what it is that you want to do with your time and stop playing out for everybody else. And, you know, I know a lot of us are going to say, no, no, I'm not doing that, man. I don't, you know, my time is my own. I do what I need to do, and blah, blah, blah. But the fact is, is if you go back over the course of the month and you look at everything you did, how much of that was actually for you? And it's not to say that you're doing anything wrong. In fact, if you're doing that, you're probably doing most things right. But, you know, so these are just the things that I think about on a day-to-day -day basis because I, I know I put these videos up and I talk about all these great things and life is fantastic. And let me tell you, there's a lot of good stuff happening. Life is fantastic. And I wouldn't change this for anything. But, you know, it doesn't come without a little preventive maintenance. For the same reason you fix those machines at work and you take your car to get a, an oil change and all of that stuff, it's the same thing with your life. You know, you've got to continue to sharpen the saw. You know, Stephen Covey has, uh, which is one of the books that I uh, attribute my journey to retirement starting from, wrote The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And one of the things he talks about is sharpening the saw. And don't allow yourself to become a dinosaur. Sharpen the saw. Always try to figure out a new piece of information, something new, something that you can do different, something that you can grow from. Because the thing is, if you're not growing, you're falling behind. And it's unfortunate because a lot of people that I know that were living these great lives early on, making a bunch of money, doing a bunch of cool stuff, well, those cats were all rolling on me time I did Sabado. I wish I could be retired like you. It's like, well, if you would have done the same things I did, if you would have focused on putting money away, if you would have bought that house instead of going out and buying some BS, if you would have tried to find a spouse that aligns with you as opposed to some chick that just looks good at the club or, you know, or having kids because you felt like you had to have kids. You know, I could go on. It's a whole litany of stuff. But my point is, folks, is do what's best for you. And at the end of the day, if you screw up, that's fine because at least you screwed up on your own terms, not the terms of someone else. So, well, this was, uh, you know, I want to take a moment to thank everybody for your time. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You know, the idea here was just to talk a little bit about some of the things that I've been thinking about, as well as some of the changes that are coming to the channel. So let me know what you think of those changes as they, as they happen. And for those of you that have been rocking with me for a while, you know, I appreciate the fact that you're here and, you know, the fact you have been rocking with me for a while, that means something's resonating with you. And if something's resonating with you, share it with your friends, because I'm sure it's going to resonate with your friends, too. But uh, on that note, I'm going to go ahead and keep it moving. I still got about another walk and about to get to my buddy's house so we can go walking. So, but hey, on that note, have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon.